All right, Coach Strife, congrats on uh, another state championship. Tell me, uh, you now have coached uh, two state championship teams and, and you've got a great program running here. Is there anything that was different about this run than two years ago, or do they all just run together? Well, they, they're all differently. Uh, you, with high school kids, you've got to, you have to adjust and adapt to what you have. When, uh, in 2008, when I first came back uh, to Cathedral, it was a scenario where we had a great defensive squad. We, had, we, we shut people out. We shut, uh, shut teams down defensively. And we were, we were good on offense, but our team won because of our defensive strength. Uh, in this last group in 2010, uh, we were a good defensive team, but we were by far not, a, not the same time a great defensive uh, team that we were in 2008. And we were a tremendous offensive team. We, we averaged over 40 points a game, which, matter of fact, set school records for points in a, scored in a season. Uh, you know, scored 31 in the state championship game against a team that hadn't given up 14, more than 14 points all year. Uh, scored 56 in the semifinal game. So it was one of those things where we put up some points on people uh, in the tournament especially. Uh, so we were, we were a very good uh, offensive team this year. And historically, we've been a great running team. And this year, we had a quarterback throw for 3,500 yards. So you, you have to adjust and do what, you, what your talent tells you you have. Now, um, in Indiana, I know it's different than Illinois, but in Indiana, everybody makes the playoffs. And you, were, you mentioned that to me earlier. Um, tell me how that has affected your guys' scheduling, and tell me, do you like that system, or would you rather a, you have to qualify to get in? Well, I, I, it's a great system for us right now because we're not in a conference, so we, we really struggle finding teams to play. So we will play all over the place. Uh, as we were talking before, I, you know, we started out 0-3. But we started out with the largest school in the state of Indiana, Carmel High School. We lost to a very talented East St. Louis team, very close. And then we, we lost to a team uh, out of Cincinnati, St. Xavier, uh, in three pretty tight ball games. We were in every one of them, had a chance to win every one of them. But we were 0-3. If we were in a system that Illinois or Ohio had, for example, we would not have qualified for the playoffs and not been in. But we play that schedule on purpose because of the way the state of Indiana is set up in that everybody gets in, everybody has an opportunity to get in. So we're going to go out and we're going to play the best people we can possibly play week in and week out, and that's going to really prep us when it comes to tournament time. Now, after you win a state title and your second one at that, what do you look for for next year? How can you guys, how can Cathedral get better? Well, we have, we have a very talented junior class, and we think that we have a good group of kids coming back, number one. Uh, the history and tradition of this place with eight state championships in this building, you don't want to be one of the classes to walk out of here and not put your mark on this place. And so typically our kids that come back, even after a state championship, they're still hungry because that was last year's seniors. What, what have you done? What's your re legacy going to be? And that usually motivates our kids to do, to do very well. What is a specific area that you've seen from last year uh, that you think, hey, we can improve at this specific thing. Is there anything? Well, I think we'll be a better defensive team this next year. We have a lot of guys returning on defense, uh, so I think we'll be a better defensive team. Uh, we, we lost our quarterback that you know, had 4,100 yards of total offense, uh, so we're going to have to regroup there. Uh, there are some kids in the, in the background that have bided their time, and it's going to be their time, so we'll see you know, who can step up at the forefront there. But I, I think uh, we need to improve our running game our running game will be much, much better. We return three offensive linemen, two sophomore running backs that will be juniors. So we think we've got a pretty good nucleus of those kind of kids coming back. So again, as we talked about before, how 2008 was a defensive team, 2010 was an offensive team. We may be back to you know, 2011 being a strong defensive team with a great ground game to, to go hand in hand with that. So again, as you start to work your way through and shuffle through the kids on your roster and who's doing what and who's getting better, uh, you need to take a look at what you have coming back. So I think we'll be okay. All right. Last question here, Coach. You're, you're, you're the head coach of a very successful and pretty big program. You mentioned that you're two platooning. Uh, where have you inserted yourself on the coaching staff as far as uh, during the practice? What, what's your specific role? Well, I'm a manager. Uh, I have an offensive coordinator that does a great job. I have a defensive coordinator that does a great job. They plan their parts of practice. I have input on the timing and how much I want fundamental work or technique work. 
but we get in a pretty good routine once practice gets going. We'll sit down on Sunday and say, okay, what do we got to get done this week? Do we need to adjust practice times? And I'm the, I run practice. I'm the manager of practice. I blow the whistle. We move from drill to drill. That's, that's my job in practice is to making sure things move in a diligent fashion from one step to the next. And how has that system worked for you? It, it works great. I, I'm a little away from everything, which kind of makes it a, a little bit tough. Uh, I, I don't have my hands in on the offense as much or don't have my hands in the defense as much in terms of play calling. Uh, but I know what's going on. I know what direction we want to go. I'll say, hey, we want to, you may want to look at fullback trap or whatever, this defense or that, as we move look through this. But I, I'm kind of the manager. Uh, I'm the administrator of the team, if you will, setting everything up and making sure things go smoothly. All right, Coach, thanks for uh, sitting down with me and having Welcome. me today, and uh, good luck in 2011. Great, pleasure. Thank you.